and give the floor to the uh, Americans for Democracy and Human Rights in Bahrain. Mr. President, Americans for Democracy and Human Rights in Bahrain would like to thank the Special Rapporteur for his report. We share your concerns over current coercive unilateral measures that significantly and drastically affect human rights. In this context, we would like to raise our concern over the unilateral coercive measures imposed on Yemen by the Saudi-led coalition through a total land, air, and sea blockade and uninterrupted airstrikes on civilians and civilian infrastructure, which many observers believe amount to war crimes. These measures ultimately result in the violation of the political, economic, and health rights of the Yemeni people and the worsening of the already dire humanitarian situation in that country. We are concerned that these measures constitute the greatest impediment to a peaceful political transition in Yemen, having stalled the political negotiations that were ongoing when the external intervention began. They are also the primary cause of the country's economic devastation and the aggravation of the humanitarian situation preventing the Yemeni population from accessing food and medical supplies and provoking mass suffering, mostly among the civilian population. The widespread and indiscriminate nature of these abuses may implicate the Saudi-led coalition in crimes against humanity. These measures ultimately undermine international peace and security in the region. In light of the current situation, we therefore ask, how has your mandate interacted with all parties in Yemen and in the Saudi-led coalition in order to address these concerns and their impact on the humanitarian crisis in the country? Thank you. I thank you. Uh, 